What's up, MK Squad? Welcome back to another legendary top of the movie reaction video. I decided to open up the video a little different today. I got the sage. You know, it's sacred. It's sacred holy wood. It basically purifies the air. Gives out spiritual energy. It's like ritual. For those who are religious and those who are not, it's just good for soothing the mood, setting the tone, better sleep, you know, stress relief, all that type of things, you know. I decided to open up the video a little bit different today. I actually pray over the video, hoping you guys enjoy this video to the highest power. And if you're not religious, like I always say, you know, the non-secular individuals, um, you know, I just pray to something a higher being or just you know so you can enjoy you know what i'm saying so uh we got interesting video today you know what i'm saying we got american girls versus european girls man yeah i said how do they compare i don't know i came across this video i was just you know youtube lurking i guess you want to say um and it seemed interesting so i figure i'll react to it something different you know and um, I still be doing my One Direction videos and, you know, all the other videos you guys enjoy. You know, I just try to do something a little bit different today, you know what I mean? Opening up, you know, praying over the video and, you know, wishing the best for the non-secular individuals that you enjoy. And, you know, this makes your day, I should say. So, I'm going to try to open up sometimes with the sage, you know, with the first video I do of the day. You know, just to be a little bit different, you know, to distinguish myself from others. But um, I appreciate you guys for watching this video, you know, because you can watch any anybody else's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, man. If you're already subscribed, we thank you. Comment down below any videos you below you want us to react to. And um, give this video a big thumbs up, man. You know, it helps out the YouTube algorithm, helps out the channel a lot. And it's totally free. So I'm not going to do no more talking. Separated by the Atlantic Ocean, American women are much different from their European cousins. But it's almost impossible to compare women from all across Europe, as the continent covers a real range of nationalities, cultures, and ethnicities. So be warned that this show may make some broad generalizations, which we hope you'll excuse. What we're attempting to do today is compare European and American women. What makes them tick? How do they behave? And what are the similarities and differences between them? At least they're using, like, general things to compare you know not nothing debatable out of respect so i like the respect of just this video opening up you know what i mean because you know people might go to war in them comments so at least he was up front and let you know was up front about what he gonna be talking about and how it's gonna be you know illustrated or talked about so that's good man that's what we'll try to find out in today's infographic show As i'm interested in how how he gonna compare with the general and the broad ideas he mentioned. Girls versus European girls. Before breaking down the differences between the sexes, let's take a look at the general similarities and differences between Americans and Europeans. As we all probably know, Europeans and Americans share a whole bunch of similarities, owing to ancestral lineage and cultural similarities. They both have a broad commitment to democratic principles and share economic alliances. Both continents enjoy reasonably high standards of living and are considered developed by the rest of the world. There are some differences when it comes to religious quirks, free expression, sense of entitlement, and the morality concept. Americans okay. believe that they are... I feel like that's everybody in general. It's not just American people or Europeans that have different religious quirks or, you know, sense of entitlement or moral concept. But like we all have our different views and that's what makes us all different and unique. Generally in control of their destiny, whereas the rest of the world, except the UK, except that powers outside of their control are dependent upon their success. Americans are generally more independent and ambitious. In a 2014 Pew survey, 57% of Americans believe their success is in their own hands. Yet Americans at just over half the population see religion as more important than their European cousins do. In 
France, only 14% of people consider religion important compared with 53% in the USA. That's World a big percentage. Show that yeah. there is a strong link between people's religiosity and their wealth. Religion is generally more important to countries with lower GDPs. Almost 40% of Americans feel that sex between unmarried couples is immoral, whereas in the EU, it is less of an issue. So are American women more prudish? Well, it depends on who you talk to and where you are. Many I, American women... I agree. Whoa, whoa, that comment right there, being unstable and B-I-T, you know, C-H-E, is all part of my mystique. Oh, snap. Are the complete opposite of proof oh. to being independent and fun-loving in multiple situations. So with all of these observations, please note that they are just that, observations and not rules. So let's take a look at some of the differences. Both America and Europe are big places, and while it's easy to generalize about people and places, it's also fair to say that American women have more in common with American women. And the same is true for European women. With well, that makes sense, man. You know, if you got a big, a big content, content Continents. Okay, I said continents. America is a big continent, and you know, American people are going to have more similarities to American people because the lifestyle and the freedom, and then the differences of freedom, or however it's portrayed and manifested over there. And you, you know, you know what I'm saying? European, you know what I'm saying? European women. The only real oddity in Europe is the UK, where women seem to behave more like Americans rather than their European cousins. But in general, there are some uniform similarities that separate Europeans from Americans in terms of attitude and behavior. When it comes to looks, women are more uniform. In Rome or Barcelona, women normally wear a skirt of similar length, a pair of reasonably high high heels, a blouse or top, and long beautiful hair. In America and in London, however, women come in many different Different styles. Thin women, overweight women, women in goth or emo garb with black eyeliner and dyed hair. Americans seem to adopt the counterculture more readily, whereas European women tend to adopt. Why you couldn't just say, man, woman, you know, is different side. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody built different. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you in a U, you you know, American. No matter if you in the U S. or if you in a you know U K. Man, like. You know, he had to go through all that big women. Well, it's not just it's not just not big women in UK, but it doesn't matter. We all built different, have different sides, and I feel like we all meant to be a certain size. Just like we're all meant to be unique in a different way. So my nose ain't gonna be like your you, the viewer nose. Like you see what I'm saying, like. My size and my shape and how I'm built is not going to be how you're going to be built. But that's what makes you different. You have to become one with yourself and embrace yourself. You feel me, sir? So I ain't knocking what he's saying, but the observation is just tight. Like, like you didn't have to do that. With this, you know. Adopt a more traditionally feminine style. It's not unusual to see a girl with a mohawk and a skateboard on the New York subway or the London Underground, whereas this would be considered unusual in, say, Budapest. While Americans oh. dress for comfort, European women are conscious of class. And I think European women just have that long hair entitlement. But fashion even if they're simply walking to the store or going to the gym europeans dress for style and unless they're on the beach most european women wouldn't consider wearing flip-flops or thongs unless they are participating i wouldn't fit in um in the european lifestyle because when i want to be chill and lazy i'm going to put on some sweats and white tee and some slides and i'm out the door but i'm not going to be classy and, and, and fashionable every single second bro who well, like uh, I'm I don't want to impress nobody. I just want to be comfortable. You feel me? Everybody's expectations is different. So they probably would have kicked me out. Or people be looking at me different. You feel me? Like, ooh, look at him. Like, hey, whatever. Getting at sports or working out, sneakers are not normally worn by Europeans. European women tend to wear flats with closed or open toes. Well, this is women. So I should, you know, I'm not a woman. But I'm just saying, if I was... Maybe the men's different. I don't know the men. Maybe the standards is different. But, you know, if I was a woman, and I wouldn't fit in with the European style, basically, I'm saying. Or high heels in most everyday situations. However, unlike most rules, there are exceptions. For social gatherings, American women will dress just as smart as their European counterparts and often outstyle them. Yeah, women moments, in Europe man. are generally more educated than in moment. America. 
University education is more affordable in Europe with many countries having free college programs. Oh. This doesn't mean that European women are any more intelligent than American women, but they generally have the opportunity to learn more in Europe. Most European women speak at least two languages and sometimes as many as five or six. That's Europeans cool. generally have a good understanding of history and geography outside of their own countries. And most Europeans have traveled to other countries before they reach their teenage years. Separated from the world by two oceans, many Americans never leave their country of birth. Bizarrely, and despite their lack of travel, American women are often more independent than European women. In social situations, American women tend to be more outgoing and curious, making them more fun at parties and social gatherings. Americans have a sense of adventure and liberty unmatched by women from other nations. In the States, a second or third marriage isn't uncommon, but looking at divorce statistics from 2014, Belgium, Spain, Portugal, Luxembourg, the Czech Republic, and Hungary all had worse divorce rates than the U.S. Ooh. In general, America... Well, they still, like, you know what I'm saying? They say more American women are more conservative than the European women, so if you think it's okay to immorally, immor immorally sleep with your partner, then, you know, it becomes problems. American women and European can women get problems. divorced at similar rates. Yeah. European women are on average better looking than American women according to some independent observers. America has problems with obesity among the young. This is not as much a problem in Europe at present. Of course, our perception of what is beautiful is a personal choice. But taking into account what seems to be the movie star and magazine standard, Europe trumps America. Riding the tram in Amsterdam, the average commuter might be surrounded by slim and attractive women. In Eastern Europe, the bulk and former Soviet satellite countries, it's possible to wander around for a while without encountering an overweight, unattractive female. European women oh, are dang. usually approachable, like knowing dang. that conversation between a male and a female is not a potential sexual advance. American women are like often that. more wary of advances from strangers. European women often feel that being seduced is an appealing validation of their sexual attractiveness and fertility rather than a violation of their rights. A European woman will normally tell you straight up if they're interested in dating and won't subscribe to what is termed flaky behavior. When it comes to dating and hanging out, an American girl might be flirtatious and open about her feelings. Americans like to call things as they see them. Europeans, on the other hand, may be more reserved and mysterious about their feelings. A guy dating a European woman may have to rely on his spider senses to unlock the mysterious puzzle that's in her mind. As we mentioned above, these generalizations cannot be proven by science, so we need your input to keep the discussion moving. So join in the discussion. What do you think about American and Europe? Man, I don't know, man. I just felt like European woman more straightforward. But then if you say an American man dating a European woman, you're going to have to figure out the puzzle in her mind. Well, if she's straightforward like that, you say, I like you and you're handsome, then what the heck puzzle should there be to figure out if she's straightforward? You know what I'm saying? I just feel as though she's straightforward. And Americans, sometimes, like American women and you know, just dating in general, it can be very confusing because they call it how they see it, but then when you call it something how you see it, and then it's something that you think it's not even what it seems. Because if you call it something how you see it, right, and then it turns out to be something that you don't like the way because of the way it seems, then but you're still going along calling it as you see it. You see what I'm saying? It's a, I feel like American women and you know just dating in general with American women and men. It could be confusing at times if you don't communicate it and speak. And I feel like some American women speak or some just be flirtatious and throw hints. You see what I'm saying? So it depends on that morality um, concept that he mentioned. So that's my input. Comment down below what you guys think with the dating in general with, you know, American men and American women and American men and European women and the whole sabam. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe.